hello everyone welcome back back and back again to my channel <laughs> and to my page because i'm also going to be uploading this to facebook so um you guys i just want to share my own opinion about the video that i've been seeing about Mobat's mom the mom is this the mom is not a good mother the mom left him for 15 years and you know all that you guys my own opinion is actually going to be different my question is what do you want Mobat's mom to do and also what could she have done better to prevent the child from the death you guys it is not about oh the parents are separated i trust me guys whatever will be will be i have seen pa um, parents that actually live together they are not separated and their children are still whatever they want to be i mean they, they, the children are still bad and not well behaved so and most cases it's not that parents did not actually train their children see for me now i all my children they are all toddlers they are still toddlers they are they are still like a baby i cannot judge someone that have a older kid i cannot judge someone that have a child of 10 years old i cannot judge someone that have a child of 15 years 16 years 12 years 20 years 20 something years old i can't because i haven't been there i haven't been there but I, I can actually give my opinion because I also grew up in a Christian home. My dad is a pastor, like a devoted one, a devoted, a devoted pastor. And see, one thing people have to understand, because I actually saw a video of one, uh, one of the prophets on Facebook, a female prophet like that. She was like, oh, they did not put the child in the line of God. See, it is not about you putting the child in the line of God. And I, I know people's expectation about um, pastor's children. They expect the children to be holding Bible everywhere as well because of my dad. So because my dad is a pastor now, I have to be a pastor too. No, it doesn't work like that, you guys. And it's not because the parent did not train the child. But let me tell you, it is only God. It's not by your power. It's not by anybody's power. It's not by any parent's power. If your children turned out to be good. And in every family, there will always be that one, that one child that doesn't want to listen. There will always be that one child that will just want to disgrace the family like you know tomamu tomamu and when you're be alone from the parents and let me tell you there's this um proverb that says in english it means it is the powerful people's children that are very weak they are the weak ones and one thing you people don't understand is that the the problem that pastors children are going through is is higher is mostly very difficult for pastors children to thrive it is very difficult because enemies if they cannot get you to the father or to the mother to the parent let me say if they cannot get you to the parent they will get to the children so it's just one parent one prayer for all parents that god it's just prayer guys there's nothing Mobad's mom would have done to prevent this, honestly. Oh, yeah, you knew about Okay, the father knew about it as well. What did the dad do? What can he do? There's nothing. What would be would be. See, this Naramali guy. <laughs> it's like you guys don't understand. Naramali is a UK citizen. And he actually left this country because he, he committed a crime and he left this country because they were looking for him. And let me tell you guys, he has been imprisoned for 124 times in the UK. 124 times, you guys. He's a gangster. He's a gangster. He's a criminal in the UK. So, and you know what happens to um, children that are gangsters in, the, in this country? If you join gangster they kill them they you know they they torture them they if you want to leave i mean like you want to leave you you join gangster and you want to leave what happened to mobad is that he cannot just leave that like that he joined them he joined them he said in his song he said um 
I do Yahoo, I do blah blah blah. That one I signed, and there was a song he sang. He said, um, um, Sheba Joshi Malian, it means they did it together, like they 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 did the Malian gang together, kind of. And you just want you 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 want to opt out like that, it doesn't work like that. You cannot just confront him or anything. You know, I'm not saying it's right what Naira Mali did. So I'm just saying that there is nothing the mother could have done better. You you are already a Malian, like you've been in there, you've seen everything, you've known their secrets, and then you want to go. They will not let him go. They won't let him go just like that. He cannot just leave like that. So, but the justice we want right now is that nobody, regardless of your post, your money or whatnot, nobody have the right to take anyone's life. Nobody should have the right to humiliate anyone. Nobody should have the right to torture anybody or to use their power on anybody. That have to stop see something happened there there is this that, see this is one of the reason i stopped going to white gaming i'm not saying i am not saying all white gaming too but there was this church and it happened here in the uk there was this church that i heard about i actually heard but i've seen that woman like i saw that woman she was behaving like kolo kolo, but sometimes she comes to her senses and you can tell that she's actually saying something that really makes sense but you know when the Polo just sent her, you know, she would just switch. This woman, she wanted to leave the church. So I now heard the story. I was like, what happened to this beautiful woman? She wanted to opt out from the church, but she already knew the um, prophet's secret. You know, she knows a lot of stuff in there. So she wanted to opt out, but they couldn't let her leave. So they ran her mouth. So that whenever she's even saying something that, you know, she's even, whenever she's spilling any truth, people will not take her serious. They will think, you know is she's just talk, she's not okay so she's just talking rubbish so that's the way it is guys and even if Mubad wasn't a gangster if he wasn't in the you know the whatever they are doing if he wasn't doing it together with them but the fact that he lived with them he dined with them he has seen a lot he has seen their secrets he has seen everything they wouldn't want you and then you want to cut out you want to leave they wouldn't want him to leave that's number one and number two is very good they know that oh if he goes out there he will make it you know he knows what he's doing he has the talent they don't want to lose him as well they don't want to lose him they've been threatening the mom and also a chat said oh the mom uh the mom action in the first in interview was different to the second one see number one the mom action will be different because the first interview she didn't really know she has been threatened and she didn't really know how to hurt some people don't know how to hurt in front of the camera that doesn't mean she wasn't real or she wasn't really feeling the death of the child or she wasn't really in pain but no number one some people don't know how to hurt in front of the camera and num number two it's just this way you know where you are in a fight with someone like a physical fight and there is no one around you know you will behave yourself you, and you know yourself that ah, I cannot fight though. This person will beat me up. This person will beat the hell out of me. You will behave yourself in a way. There's, you know, you will not do braga. But once you see people gather, ah, I don't fight. Give me You see people that actually wanted to, that actually wants to separate you guys. That's when your bones will be, you know, going up and eh, you will kill me. You know that. You know your bones, your action will be different from when there was no one around. So I think that's what it is in the mom's case. In the first interview the whole um, investigation the police and blah, they haven't really been involved but in the second interview she can now see that oh this is like really serious now people are out there the police are in you know cooperation they are cooperating the police are actually taking everything up and you know there is security and everything that's when she can actually like now be like ah it's naira mali but in the first place she couldn't mention naira mali she has been threatened that's what you guys should understand she has been threatened but this second stage you can see that you know there is there is hope and there, there is the, the, she have people she can now rely on that's why she's now you know showing the proper expression showing 
you know every say she she's now able to spill up and say oh my my son said this my son mentioned naramali my son this and that and the mom also mentioned something that the son is always like please don't let them kill you don't do anything just leave it don't let them kill you because the son knows the people he is involved with the son knows a lot of things that he's, he, he couldn't spill up he couldn't spill out he couldn't say it he couldn't say much he's not even sharing <coughs> everything in his song he only shared little he's not sharing everything for you to know the extent but he let us know that the, um they threatened his mom the court is that they tra threatened the mom so this is beyond what we are all seeing this is beyond everyone it's raining sorry guys it's raining so i had to run under this gazebo <laughs> i'm with our pets here say hello guys so anyway guys um they said um the mom left his life for um 15 years the son actually um the son mobad is sang in his son that he didn't see his mom for 10 years he's only a child that knows how long he hasn't seen his mom the dad is saying 15 is actually 15 years the dad might probably just be you know calculating all the years that he has been the one looking after mobad but the son might actually be seeing the mom <coughs> from 10 years apart from 10 years that they have been apart so it's only the son that can they, they might he might have been sneaking out to see, to see the mom that the dad doesn't know and people saying that oh she abandoned um her son she's not a mother she, what could she have done you guys and you see there's nothing she could do she's a woman and when um in nigeria when couples want to separate see it, the, you know that mostly men it's only in this country in abroad that the woman no one no, is the woman that we have the the, the the children or the child if they've got just one child is the woman but in nigeria it doesn't work like that when she wanted to leave she might want to take the son but the dad might be like no you cannot take my child the family might get involved that no you cannot take our son did you bring any child here you cannot take our son he's not going with you they might actually be the one that stopped her from taking Mubad with her. Am I making sense? They might be the we don't know what transpired between them. And for her to leave, it might be something that she cannot cope with. She might be going through, you know, a, a, um, emotional torture, mental abuse, or physical abuse. And if she had died in that relationship, you guys will still be the ones to be like, oh, why didn't you leave? Why didn't you leave? Why are you using your child as a You don't want to leave because of your children. And now that you are dead, I always okay. Who is well? Are they not going to live their life? It is still we same people that will come out and say that oh, she should have um, opt out of the relationship when um, you know she's been abused. So no one knows what she was going through for her to leave, and they could have stopped her from taking the son with her. So we really don't know what actually happened between the parents, and but that's not the bone of contention for what happened to Mubad. There's nothing she could have done. Whatever would be, she, he, 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 Mubad was in a gangster. He might not be a gangster, but he was with them. He knows all their secrets. He knows all their, you know, Kolo's um, business. So they, they, they were after him here in the UK. This gangster, they sh I don't want to use the word. Uh, I'd love to say this in English so that people can relate. People that actually know these people, they can, you know, concur. But I don't want Facebook or I don't. There are some words we cannot just use. But see, they can. They oh my, oh my, oh my, pawani. So what would Jerry Gansani do? Oh my, pawani, we are going to shoot from Okon or we are going to go to Okon Lobe like. L S T A B like one go on more on lobby see the honey will each or can you call more matter bro it's going on a lot here it's happening a lot here and this was the type of the person that Naramali was when he was in the UK and all day she can't stand here oh we lost Nigeria and what do you expect so there is nothing the mom could have done better there is nothing and there's nowhere Mubad can run to. He cannot run. Even if you run to the UK, Naira has his gang here. If you run to Jamaica, they have they have connection. They have connection. There's a way they can actually fish him out. He will send his picture to everywhere in the country that he, they, you know, they have connection. They will fish him out. They cannot run away. You, in fact, you heard Mubad said 
when he came to the UK for um, is, is it concert or something to to for a show, he came here to perform, and um, they were um, Mali already contacted his people here in the UK to threaten him to torture him and all that. It is that serious. You guys are you you guys don't understand. It is that serious. So what could the mom even if the mom shout out Egba Mio and all of that? And I actually heard that they um they that um just love or something already mentioned this he cried out before my god cried out before but what they think no one did anything no one did anything so you guys it's not about all oh, the mom left him even couples that live together it's only god that can help them raise their children we've seen couples that are together and they still lose their child to the hands of gangster and or to the hands of bad guys and all that they still it, it happens a lot so it's not about the parents separate even when the mom wanted to leave they might be like oh um you are a woman you cannot raise a son you cannot raise omar kuri now it is in nigeria what could she have done or well, she could have shout out or go to the court is someone that has money that goes to court that involves a lawyer what does she have she doesn't have the money to involve a lawyer or anything there's nothing she could have done really better and she might have been seen as son but we don't know when or how we don't know it might even be before and mobile sang in a song that his mom told him to take things slowly but he didn't listen there was a way he sang that song but he did not listen he did not listen and he also said in the song that oh he has done yahoo he has done you know he has done what is it he has done some things so this is what it is he has entered it but later he realized that i'm in the wrong part and he, he wanted to correct his steps he wanted to opt out he doesn't want to live that life anymore but then they took his life so that's what it is so we should just pray there's no no amount of how we raise our kids or how we put them in the line of god a, a, a pastor's child does not mean anything being a pastor's child does not mean anything for my lack baragon no man your legend it is only the ones that you know taught jaran wakba because otaman bogun on pastor's children especially if you are the first born of that pastor enemies we try we try that that pastor a lot through his children so it's only that child that can determine his life it's not about what your parents did it's not about oh you put them in the line of god or so or whatnot it is only god it is only god there's nothing it's not this is not the mom's fault or the mom is not a good mother we handle pain differently and when it comes to camera not some people don't know how to act in front of the camera they will just be acting weird or you know acting you know someone you'll be like how is she behaving like this you know but because she's not she might not be someone that faced the camera like that but she has no choice because you know this is something that she has to answer for so this is not the mom's fault so people should stop blaming the the mom that oh she you know she's not a good mother she left the son for 15 years or you know it might not be as easy for her as you people think no mother no mother will leave that child. The, the dad might have said a lot of things. And come to think of, of it, the, uh, Mobad is sang in his song that um, stepmother don't care. It means the stepmother hasn't been playing the role of a mother for him. That might even prompt him to look, of, look for his mom. The mom, we don't know what this boy, this boy has actually been through a lot in the hands of family and friends, everyone around him. He has been through a lot. The stepmother wasn't nice to him. Even after that, you can see this woman, what she has been doing. So, that might even prompt him. If he, has, if he had been receiving a very good motherly care from the stepmother, he might not even remember his mom. He might not even look for his mom. But for him to look for his mom, he's actually looking for a mother. That if it was my mom, my mom would have been, you know, positive about me. So, in this whole issue, you guys, this is my take. And, you know, I personally don't think it's the mom's fault or the way they've raised him. There will still be, if you see, see if you see Mobad, 
you can still see that he has the fear of God in him. That is what they have implanted in him. But that, that doesn't stop pastors' children from doing whatever they want to do. But in a way, they, they will, there is a way they will, they will look different. You know, they will actually look different. But in some circumstances, you cannot just control some children. There are some children that they just want to do what they want to do. They don't want to be controlled. They don't want anybody to tell them what to do. So, but it doesn't mean the parents did not train them well. It doesn't mean they don't train them well. I pray they find justice for me. But <clears throat> honestly, guys, it was last night that I just had a a good sleep, like at least like six hours sleep. It was just last night when they exhumed the body. I can't wait to hear the autopsy results. I just can't wait. I pray it finds it find justice. There should be no peace for the wicked. Thank you all so much for watching and please leave in the comment section what do you think have a nice day guys bye